Hello everyone, this is Esan again. Uh, well, my name is doesn't have again, but so it's Esan showing up again in a video. In this video, what we are going to do is basically we are going to open up the blank camera project and learn how we can use the Eclipse environment to manipulate the project to create a new Carol environment where we would like to run our Carol. So before talking too much, let's directly dive into the uh, to in into Eclipse and uh, let's see how things work out from there. So Eclipse is running. And so what we do is basically uh, we have the blank Carol project already in, Ecl uh, in Eclipse. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, let's delete this blank Carol project from here. We delete the project, but we do not delete the project from the hard drive. We just delete it from the Explorer package environment by doing this. And we say uh, continue and we'll figure out how things, what happened. Okay, so go to Stanford menu import project we browse to our workspace select blank carol project we say okay everything works out fine here we don't change anything we just say finish and so carol is over here let's see if our blank carol project that we had written before is working let's add another move command like this and now what we do is basically we are going to see whether it works let's run this let's run and okay so let's see if it moves two steps along the street number one so let's see if it moves along the street one two steps yeah it moves so now we would what we want to do is basically we would like to change this environment that we see here meaning the grid where carol lives in this grid there are two vocabulary that vocabulary that you need to understand this these are streets so the rows are streets streets number four street number five and column or avenues which are like this the vertical locations are called avenues so at this point in the grid carol is at street number three avenue number sorry street number one avenue number three so it's Kind of like the coordinate system that we know so now we would like to change this environment what do we want to do is we want to create a new carol environment for that what we do is we close this we go to default package we click on this we right click we go to new we do class and we write carol new environment it can be any other name that you want but let's stick to carol new environment for the time being we say finish and whatever thing that we get here we remove this save it we go to the blank carol project we copy this part of the code into the new location and then what we do is basically we copy everything else we place it here and everything seems fine but there is a red squiggly line here in order to make things work properly, what we do is we change this. We say carol new environment. And now the squiggly line goes away. And we are not going to use super carol, but we are going to use only the carol version. So we use carol. And um, so let's see if it works. Uh, we run this. Now, if we select this, we have two options because we have two Java projects here. One the blank carol, the second one is carol new environment. We want to run the carol new environment. So we click on it, we say okay. And now the default carol environment fires up. I say start program. Carol is still, carol still moves from avenue one, street one to street one, avenue three. Wonderful. Now we would like to change this environment. For that, what we do is we do uh, new world. We keep the uh, shape as it is. So 10 columns, 10 rows, or uh, we can say 10 streets, 10 avenue. Okay. 
and what we do is basically change the name to Carol new environment it has to be the exact same name that we use for the class with a dot w where w stands for world meaning carol world so we say save it's okay it's working here then we want to put some wall and let's say we want to put the wall in between avenue 4 and avenue 5 so it's like this i click i drag i click it's still on click and i'm still dragging it's working wonderful <clears throat> so i have set a wall now i would like to place a beeper on this world let's say i want to place the beeper over here okay now we want to save the world we save the world and we close it and now if we run this environment run this code again let's see how things work out for us we run it again we select this one carol new environment we run this and now it doesn't show the default thing before it is being used with our new thing new carol environment so <clears throat> That is how you can create, manually create your new environment and run your Carol code. So for that to work, you have to create a new class using right click new class, and give it a name, Carol new environment or Carol blah, 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 which extends some basic Carol. And you have to import the, all the information about Carol like this. And then after you're done with this, you run it for once select the file and what you do is you have to edit this create a new world uh, and save it with the same name that you have used for your class file and then at the end when you run it again it works with your new environment thank you